Those insane views out of Oklahoma, according to the drone storm chasing project Otis, this is a perspective no one has ever seen before inside a tornado. It is one of the first tornadoes that has ever physically been intercepted by a drone, all cleared by the FAA. Joining us now is the pilot, uh, Lewis Tucker. Lewis, uh, uh, incredible, incredible flying. Like, watching that, you get nervous for the drone. What are this, first of all, like, how, how are you able to do this? What, what are the specs on this? this drone that it can fly into a tornado without just spinning out of control. Yeah, so this is a fully custom built drone from scratch. And uh, I have a lot of drone <laughs> racing experience and that's where I'm coming from uh, with the other members in this project. And we built something that could fly inside of a tornado. And, and as we see it get closer to the tornado, does it get kind of sucked into the vortex or is this you flying with those winds that is swirling around and keeping the camera trained on the center there? Yeah, so during this moment, I'm actually flying against the winds. I was waiting for the tornado to fully condense before flying in. And at mm -hmm. this moment, you, know, you can see me going against the winds flying inside and then just matching the speed in order to get some uh, really interesting thermodynamic data. And tell us a little bit about that data. What, what kind of data did you detect there? Yeah, so on our drone, we're gathering all different kinds of data. We're getting relative humidity, wind speed, uh, pressure, temperature, and we're gathering everything we can uh, to really help understand uh, how tornadoes are forming, why they weaken, and why they strengthen. I can watch this video, and I have watched this video many times today, as many Americans are right now. Uh, I know that you got the FAA to approve you for this. I think this is one of the first approvals of something that we're probably going to see a lot more of uh, as the technology like catches up here. But like, how did that that approval process go? It took a very, very long time. Uh, something like this had never been done before. And it took us about a year to get full clearance and approval by the FAA. This might be one of the longest waivers that I've ever seen from the FAA to do something mm. like this, because there's so many things involved. And where do you see the future of storm chasing going after, after this video? Yeah, so the reason why that we're using drones for this project is to better understand how tornadoes form and work from a distance, right? Because traditionally, people have tried to deploy ground probes in front of tornadoes, and that's very dangerous because they're intentionally driving into the path, dropping mm -hmm. a ground probe, and then having to leave very quickly. But with this project, we can stay at a safe distance away, uh, we can fly the drone out to the tornado, gather all the data that we need, and then we can come back. I was just gonna ask, that last question here, like how far were you from that tornado when, when the drone intercepted here? Yeah, so during this intercept, I believe I was maybe about two miles away, and that's about the perfect distance for us uh, mm -hmm. to not be too close uh, to the tornado. So, Got it. Yeah, well, that, you know, I hope you, you, you gather some more data. I definitely don't hope for, for bigger tornadoes, but um, it's going to be very interesting to see what you pick up over the next few months. Lewis Tucker, thank you so much for joining us. It was a fascinating look. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.